is. He sells homes for $7 million, $5 million, $15 million, $25 million. He was a star for Coldwell Banker in La Jolla, California. His office is in downtown La Jolla on that main street. If you've ever been there, it's just incredibly beautiful. And he saw all this, and he has joined us at DXP like a month ago. And he let Coldwell Banker know, hey, guys, it's been great. I so appreciate all you've done for me, but I'm going to EXP. Well, that went to the vice president of the Western United States, who he personally knew, called him up. He's like, are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? He literally was, he was, are you going through a midlife crisis? You're crazy. And he goes, and he really kind of got on him. And this guy's kind of a, he's, he's no pushover. Our guy, who joined EXP, he goes, hey, I don't know if you know, I wasn't really was asking for permission here. <laughs> you know, we're independent contractors. We're not asking for your life. What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? Someone's going to tell you when to be there, how hard to work, when you can leave, when you can't leave, when you can go on vacation, when you can't go on vacation. Is that not true? And so this little thing is really, really important. So this will, this will shock you. And so few people will stand up in this room. We begged you to do this, begged you to do a dream board, a vision board. You get a little piece of uh, poster board from your local grocery store, and you rip out the Southwest Airline pictures that are cool. I've done that. And you rip out the American Airlines pictures that are cool. You go to the grocery store, you buy a travel magazine, you get one on family, one on health, and you rip out pages that symbolize things to you. It doesn't have to be a big house and a car. It could be this family looks no stress. That represents maybe debt free and peace with your family, right? Different things. Someone really working out, looking good. What they are putting up there. If you have a dream or vision board, stand up. There's going to be hardly anybody in the room, but stand up. One, just stand up. Only those very few people. So give these guys a hand. Awesome job. <laughs> Definitely less than 10% of the room. The rest of you, so everyone grab your phone right now, because some of you are just staring at me. <laughs> Write this one down, you ready? Ideas can only stab them at the end of your pen to get away. You're, for the rest of your life, I forbid you to come to your speaker and just stare at the speaker. I know you're listening, but you, your retention will go up 70% if you just write down things. So I want you to open your phone, and hopefully you have a notepad section in your phone. Scroll through it, I have one. You know what I'm talking about? And for those of you, now if you have a notepad, like my man over here, Use the notepad. You don't need to do this. You have something to write on. Again, this is only for people who don't have something to write on. I forgot to say that. You must, you have to take notes. So the first thing I want you to write is wealth chart. You need one. James, we were told to do this thing. You know, wonder why we have thousands and thousands and thousands of thousands. It didn't happen on accident. James, we were told to do this. James, how long did it take for us to follow the instructions for making chocolate chip cookies? Because this is the instructions for how to do it. How long did it take us to make a wealth chart? Within days, we had it up and running. I'll show you ours in just a minute. I um, mean, I'm sorry, the, I said wealth chart. The dream vision board, how many days, right? Same thing, we're told, build a wealth chart. Ralph Flick designed it, he said, do this, don't change it a bit. Do this, don't change it a bit. We'll show you one in a minute. How long did it take us to actually build a wealth chart? Another piece of poster board and some jars and you can create circles or whatever. Did it immediately, okay? Within days. So, I mean, again, this is going to shock. So this should encourage you. This should encourage you. The reason EXP doesn't happen for a lot of people is because and chocolate chips and, and water and eggs and I don't even know what else it takes. But if, if, if you're going to make it, you go for the meat. This is what it takes. Stand up. If you have and use a wealth chart, you have one and you use it every day. A wealth chart. Stand up. See, this is, this is why the – go ahead and sit down. That's awesome. So here's why you're not succeeding to the degree you are. You're not following the instructions. I love you. I'm not trying to put him on the spot. It's like this everywhere I go. James, we did it the first week. We just followed instructions. We're begging you. So we're going to show you a wealth chart this minute. By the way, you can get a copy of the wealth chart at breakthroughresources.com. You can actually download something you take to Kinko's, FedEx, and they'll, they'll print out a wealth chart for you. We had to actually get out. You did it. You, did you get out like coffee cups and draw circles around them? So we'll show you one. Let's just see. Oh, by the way, there's our vision board. So there's the guy in the health. That's David Gogans. Dog on. Say, I'm a big health guy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're golfers. So if you look here, you'll see lots of golf because that's what we're doing. The other thing you'll see is lots of family. There's James's family. <laughs> Anyways, but just kidding. You see his wife. They're giving a funny face. I'm just teasing you. But, um, and then, then there's my wife and I, James and his wife, their kids, our kids. 
James is my business partner, and a big thing that we, if you want to material, we want a cabin with a towel on the water, okay? That's our big thing. That's just, uh, the cabin is family time. Let's go to the cabin this week and hang out as a family. Oh, you come to see me? Oh, I'm gone, but here, go to my cabin and lay down. Just hang out, you know? So it's a way to give. It's a way to bless people. It's a way to create family moments. So this is really for us. Now, if you wanted a yacht or an airplane, we're not knocking it. We, didn't, we figured out what it is for us. Okay, so you figure out what it is. We see this every day of our lives. So we're focused. We know why we're doing it. Um, then we have goals. We created a sheet, you know, it's 3000 a month in rev share. You know, when would you like to be doing that? Uh, what would you like that to do for you? Make my house payment. How many agents would you sponsor in the next 90 days? And you start writing down some goals. You can create your own. Here's one. Dream a little. How many agents would you like in six months? My goal was to sponsor. Remember here, yours was five grand, 10 and 15 grand. Mine was sponsor 10 to 15 agents my first year, maybe we have 100. Sponsor 10 to 15 the first year, maybe we have 100. I sponsored 40 and had how many at the end of 13 months? But dream a little. Put that on here. Dream a little. What, how, how many would you like to have in our organization? But in our seven levels, we get paid off. Watch this. Um, I'll whisper the number and he'll get it. James, how many agents will we have in 10 years in our seven levels? 57,000. What did I whisper in your ear? 57,000. We're on the same page. We've already sat down. We've calculated it out. we figured out how we're going to get there. The, the architecture life, again, if you don't do this stuff, it's simple to make a wealth chart. It's simple to do this stuff. So do it. So next, boom. Come on, I'm hitting the laser. To turn my <laughs> There's a wealth chart. So we didn't have cool, slick PDFs when we did this three years ago. We were like, we walked to EDXP meetings to snow. We, uh, you know, we rode horses into stuff. Um, but we had to actually take, uh, once you take a coffee cup and just draw circles around it. So if you sponsor five, you get paid on level two. That's what that means. If you sponsor 10, you get paid on level three. Tw uh, 15, level four, 20, level five. 25 gets you paid on six levels. Well, Rob Flick generated this, and then he, as the levels fill in, you put the numbers here in pencil because it'll continue to grow. Do you remember when we had no deal levels five, six, or seven screw? How many we sponsored? Uh, now, the hard work is the 40. Then people just sign up. You got momentum. It's like people call you, hey, you sold my sister her house 18 years ago. You sell my house. Is that an easy one? That happens here too. I've had people who said, hey, it's been a couple years, I'm ready. Is that an easy one? But I stayed the course. Well, Curtis, I stayed the course, and he goes, okay, okay, I can. For one guy, he was a super mega star at Keller Williams. He goes, how's EXP going? Awesome, man. He goes, how's your ref share? I go, it's going good. He goes, no, like how much? I go, well, $100,000 now. He goes, that's not bad for the year. I go, no, that's, that's last month. <laughs> that's like every month. You can budget on hundred thousand a month. He was like, "What?" I go, "I tried to tell you." He goes, "Okay, that warrants an appointment. I must have missed something." And now he's in, and he's got agents in San Diego, San Francisco, Sacramento, all over the place. He's cranking. So, so we sponsored those forty. Then we sponsored thirty. Since then, thirty. We have seventy something sponsored, right, James? How many people are in Generation Two? So there's that many, right? How about three, though? Uh, 30, 90, uh, we remember 12, 60. Five? Yeah, so I'd say 13, 50, 14, 55, and uh, 12, 60. Now, we remember when we didn't have anybody on these levels. Some of you right now are like, I don't really have anyone on these levels. We were you. But we went and planted a crop. We, we planted a vineyard. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. And we went and did the work. In 10 years, people are like, oh my gosh, you guys were at EXP back in 2019 when the stock was just like, I was with nine bucks in the air. Oh my gosh, what was it like? <laughs> I was just trying to figure it out, man. <laughs> right? So, how, you said what, over 1,100 on the level seven screw? You're really paying attention. Never mind. He said, like, what is it? Like, 1100? It's fine. He's working over there. 1260? On level seven? Yeah, maybe. All right. So, when I got to 40, there were like 10. 
And at, at 4,000 an agent, how much is that a year? 40,000. Yeah, how much is it, 1270? A lot. A lot. <laughs> it's like dumb money. There's smart money, there's dumb money. I mean, dumb money. Who wants dumb money, anybody? So why don't agents get dumb money? Because you're right, write this down, it's profound. They chase now money. What's now money? We FaceTime with the guy in the back. Guy in the back, he's a star, he's a freaking stud. I say that to freaking, I didn't say the other word. My medical bills to pay my credit card payments, to pay my college tuition, which I'm paying off to pay, to pay, to pay, to pay, to live. It's now money. And it's the tyranny of the urgent. Ball buster, if I can say it. Rick Ruby, if you know the name, he is a ball buster. He's, he's ex-Marine. He screams at people, embarrasses you. You said you were the sea world. But um, he goes, and he'll embarrass me. The guy's incredible. How, how many homes personally will Kay sell this year? Over 150. Himself. Is that a little or a lot? And, and Kay's like, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. And Ben is sponsored by Kay. And Ben's here, but some of Ben's group is here. But I said, and I love Kay, this is no disrespect. And he's got this hard driving coach who's in his face. And so he's up to 400 homes a year. But trust me, does Kay have overhead? Oh, Kay's got overhead. And he makes a great living, probably makes a million bucks a year. But then by the time you pay the taxes on that, you pay for your family, and you go on the nice trips to Europe and live in the nice 5,000 square foot home in Tucson, and you know, you just you tread water. You're like on the on the surface, you're like a duck. They look calm. Underneath it's like <laughs> little Peter Gavin, right? Yeah, it's great. We're on our homes here. 160 homes a year. Is that boy busy? Yeah. I, I looked at Ben, I said, if he doesn't do this, I know exactly where he'll be in seven years. Doing the same thing he's doing now. Unless the market corrects, then he'll be doing less, but he'll be suffering because he won't be making his credit card payments. And he won't be paying for the amount of move out of that five thousand. You know? So you got to the tyranny of the urgent, the now money. It was someone before this says, yeah, but I talked during the lunch, I went back there and talked to some folks. She goes, yeah, but if everybody's sponsoring people, who will sell the real estate? It's a fair question. You hear that from time to time. I go, the problem is just the opposite. So many agents are busy selling real estate that they don't go do that. The problem is just the opposite because everybody's chasing now money. Write this down. Now money, write down, is bad money. What do you mean bad money? Well, it, I get it. You have to do it. I had to do it too. Why do you think I only spent Fridays from 2 to 5, call them 3 to 5? From 2 to 5 p.m., I call three to five agents had real, honest, open discussions about their future. And in a eight-month period, I shared the webinar with 849 people, and 40 of them signed up. That was my numbers. Showed it 149 times, which means 109 said no. Curtis was one of them. He told me no. Sean Work, the big star from Keller Williams, told me no. Don Yoko, who's a big star organization, told me no. Most of the people told me no. You're like, wow, we have something in common. What's that? They're telling me no, too. <laughs> I'm getting no's. You're right on track. Because you're planting seeds. And seeds have to germinate. You know, in China, I was in uh, Hong Kong and Hassa and in Tibet and Darwin Lomas Barrows and in the Himalayas in 1999 before Hong Kong went back to China because under British rule. They have a Chinese bamboo uh, tree plant thing, and they, they plant it, then they have to mark it off, and, and because nothing happens the first year, or the second, or the third, or the fourth, or the fifth year. It's National Geographic documented. But the fifth year, in the fifth year, when the lunar moon is just right, or whatever it is, a little, a little, a little sprout pops, a little green thing, oh, there it is. Get back, buddy. It's like GF Jack and the Beanstalk. You better get back. Because in the next 90 days, that thing grows like 100 feet in 90 days. I'm like, wow, it's a miracle. It grows 100 feet in 90 days. No, it didn't. It grew not 100 feet in five years in 90 days. See, the roots were going down. You're planting seeds, and they got to germinate. He, he had to take whatever time he had to take. They would only know what hell no, right? And that was, what, six months? He was a year, right? People have their thing. So you are succeeding. It's not working for me. It's totally working for you. You just don't do enough numbers. There's a book called Fanatical Prospecting by Jeb Bush. Raise your hand if you've read the book. Jeb Bush. Wow. What? Black, black, black. I'm sorry. Jeb Bush. <laughs> sorry. 
the governor of Florida <laughs> looked like our prospect. Is it? Okay. Is it blind? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looked fanatical prospecting. In his book, he talks about how it's always down to math. It is math. You are not succeeding because you are not putting in enough numbers. Oh, I talked to like 50 people. Great. And I only got one. Now we know your numbers. You're one out of 50. And guess what? You get better. You get one out of 40. Then you get one out of 30. But know your numbers. And it's just sheer numbers. Now, if you're totally, there's some people that I don't want to be that guy. I don't need that gal in Gilbert. Nobody's trying to get everybody into his deal. I don't want people to think of me as that. I don't want to be known as that guy trying to get everybody in. Okay, that is a narcissistic statement. You're, you're thinking about what people think of you and what your image is like. That's narcissism, right? And it's all about you. Instead of thinking, how can I change Tony Hughes' life? Do I believe in my soul this is good for Tony? Now, he may not get it. I believe it was good for Curtis. Now, he partnered with another company, so I can't do it. I just partnered and waited a year. But you go to them, and if you know it's about them, it's not about you, right? But some of you don't prospect because it's about you. It's about your feelings. It's about your heart. It's you replaying them. I had people say to me dumb, mean, stupid things. Probably four months ago, I had a guy, a Kellogg's owner. I didn't realize how many people left this company for ours. Maybe you should have thought it through. <laughs> I've known him for 10 years, you know. I've never prospected anyone from this company. And, and I really didn't realize how many big stars left. So when I called him, you ever heard, my pastor says this, hurt people, hurt people. You take a sweet little dog, golden retriever, whatever your favorite brand of dog is, or even a cat if you're a cat lover. Um, but the point is, take a dog, and it's the sweetest dog, but it's hurt, right? And you touch their hurt paw, it's going to yelp and bite you. This is a good sweet dog that's going to bite you. Hurt people, hurt people. I tell you right now, you are going to come up against some of those. And this boy, I didn't know it was hurt, he tore my head off like I had never. And said some things, and I'm like, dude, whoa, easy, you know? He said, invite you to lunch. I mean, I haven't talked to him in a decade, but he lost so many people he'd speak, he was a little sensitive. <laughs> and you know, we don't gotta go lunch, you know. And you know, it's obviously you 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 you've got you're injured and you're dealing with some stuff here. No, no big deal. You get better, you know. He's like, I'm not injured. And he was just upset. Are you with me? Yeah. Well, that's happened to me too. I mean, it was I, on a scale of one to ten, it was like a twenty off the Richter scale. I mean, I was so caught off guard by it. It's okay, but I move on. I think about the good stuff, right? It's just gonna happen. Is anyone surprised by that? Sometimes you meet people, just don't try to sponsor them. So, there's that. <laughs> now, um, and sometimes you don't know. I didn't know it was like that. So here's the deal. You want to see what one looks like filled out by a guy in Las Vegas? Here it is. This is a guy named David Golden. I call him Golden Delicious after the apple. And he had, at the point, he had 312. Now he's got like 700. But he sponsored 5, 10, 15, 20, and 500. This is 25. They weren't quite signed up yet. They just <laughs> it's filling that out just like we did. And then here's the people he's working with. The hot ones were in red. So you can see he was doing this. And he, so he did it on a, on a erasable board, but exactly the same. This is my website, brinkoresources.com. And this, you can find out how to sell homes, how to attract agents, event videos, more scripts, dialogue. Hit this button. If you hit this button, you'll know I'm in El Paso tomorrow. You'll know I was in British Columbia last week. Um, you'll know I was in Phoenix today. Hit this button, it shows you where I am. We know James and I spend hours at the 30,000 foot level going, okay, how do we get to 57,000 agents? How do we impact lives? How do we make a difference? And so if you hit this button, you'll know where I am for all of 2020. I mean, you could be, you find out, oh, you're in Detroit? I got family in Detroit. Click the button. You know, where's rent? I'll be in uh, Orlando, and, and you'll find out where I'm going to be for the year. People say, how do you travel? About 24 uh, times a year, usually for a day or two or three. It's fun, and, and we're at the point where, yeah, we get to fly in first class. It's super fun. It's not a big deal, and um, they treat you like royalty, and it's just like, oh, it's so much hard work, you know? People are so grateful, and they're, I love them, they love me. It's all good. It's different than your seller calling you, somebody left the back door open. <laughs> Was it Curtis Johnson? You call the car, I want his license. And you're like, whoa, I'm just trying to eat a taco with my family. Like, easy. And, and the truck leaves into the house, You get, he's gonna mop my floors. 
And you know how people get freaked out? I don't miss any of that. Levon from Nordstrom's? Oh, one of my clients? You ever see the movies where the head spins around? It's like, you know, I'm a Christian, I believe in the Lord and all that. Some of you aren't, but you met my client, Levon, you would believe in the devil. <laughs> right? You ever met clients, right? You're like, you either believe in Jesus or the devil, you believe in one. Like, real estate will get you to believe in evil at some point. And good, good, there's goodness. And then there's, you ever had a client, you're like, there, there's, like Seth, that famous movie star actor. I'll never forget, there's darkness in your soul. You know, he's like, he's, I love that line, it's hilarious. <laughs> but you ever had a client, you're like, oh my God, that was not worth it. <laughs> and you knew going in, it wasn't worth it, but you can add and do math. And you're like, take 3% of 600,000, it's a 600,000 dollar listing. It's $18,000. I can put up with this, right? And you talk yourself into it. And then six months later, a year later, you get done, you're like, it was not worth it. You gotta listen to that still small voice. Even with the EXP when you age an attraction, if they're cranky and nasty, look like they've been sucking on a lemon, you know, and you get them in, those people have friends. Right? Birds of a feather flock together, then you have the cranky, sucky lemon group. I don't like candy corn. I don't like that. I don't like you know, it's like, oh god, you know. But Spon the reason I have 24 people on my actual personal real estate team, I sponsor people on my team that I like, that I can go on vacation with, that I can have in my backyard barbecue, hang out with. You're, you're, uh, uh, Rob Flick talks about people with good energy. Sponsor people with good energy that are like, I like this person. I tried to do 149 of them, only 40. It wasn't that he was a bad person, it just wasn't his time. John Yoakum on 33 Keller Williams franchises. Largest franchise owner in North America said, Looks great, not for me. A year later, someone I sponsored sponsored him in Portland. He was just a little thing. Timing was, he, he told me, Timing was bad when you called me. A year later, things had happened where I was just really open. And he ends up signing up a year later. So let's keep moving. So, what do you need to do? Well, first things first, you need to make a list of names. This is going to freak you out. If you've been around, you've watched any trainings, you know you're supposed to have a list of about 100 names written down. And your mind's like, well, I don't know 100 agents. Can you go to open houses and meet them for one second? Do not talk to them for more than one second. You're like, well, there's nobody there. I'm gonna talk to them for an hour. They leave, you're a stupid EXP agent was here for an hour. I was gonna make follow up calls. They just sat there talking to me, talking to me, talking to me. And I couldn't get them out of the house. That's the rep you're creating. There's nobody there. They were gonna make follow up calls. Get in, get out, meet people. Go to expos, go to tech expos, go to all these different Craig Proctor events, right? NARREV, ARIA, um, Women's Council of Realtors. I'm a member of the Women's Council of Realtors. They let dudes in. You can meet people. I'm a man member of NARREV. Are you Hispanic? No, but anyone can join. I'm a man member of ARIA, the Asian Association of Realtors. Am I Asian? No! Might be up doing 23 of me this week. I may get a I'm a friendly guy, and my ancestors, we probably got a little bit of everybody, right? Heinz 57. So, so here's the deal you can meet people. I opened my phone, never got past G. A, B, C, D, G, H. If your last name was like H, like Hansen, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> You're never going to call for me. I was at 40 by the time I got to G. You have people. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You will not get out of A's before. I forgot about Sandy Anderson. I forgot about Albert Schweitzer. I, you know, go through your phone, start with A's, and you'll build a list of 100 names just with the A's. No, I won't try it, that's your mind. Or go meet people, you just sort of freak you out to encourage you, and so few people will stand up. If you have a list that you took the time to make with 100 names on it, that's what we're trying to do. Stand up if you've done that. Be very few people. Don't feel bad. Again, this is not to make anybody feel bad. Okay? Sit back down. That is awesome. Just sit down. So here's the deal. <clears throat> so so many people, remember I said take notes on your phone? Build a wealth chart. Why don't I do that tonight? Um, dream vision board. Okay, it's what? Tuesday night? Get it done by this weekend, Friday. So have fun with your kids. Involve your kids. Here, kids. Well, it's Disneyland, Dad. You know, uh, uh, Hawaii. You know, and, and have fun with your family and build a vision. What is it? Talk to your wife. Honey, what do you want to do? Or if you're the little, you know, your sweetheart, your husband, what do you want to do? And get involved. Build that. 
And then the list of names by Sunday night. These are like punch list items. You cannot stare at the speaker. I forbid you to ever stare at the speaker the rest of your life. You must take notes and come up with actionable items. I can't even tell you. James, when did we make our 100 list of names? Did it take us six months to make a list of 100 names? How long? Okay, so we did all these things within two, three, four days. They said, do this, we did it. <clears throat> there, we did not succeed by accident. We followed the recipe. He's with me. And do you feel like I'm beating you up? I'm not trying to. I just, I do feel like I'm beating you up. Am I? No. I know, I know. I'm trying to encourage you like, okay, if I do X, Y, I'm going to get Z. And we want you to get Z. So make the list. Meet people. Don't be weird. Prospect them later. You know, have fun. Meet people. Have fun. Meet people. Have fun. Prospect them later. Prospect them. You try to prospect them later. You're like, hey, I'm Brent. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Cameron. Cameron, Sass is his name. Nice to meet you. I'm like, I want to prospect this guy. I'm not saying that. But I'm in here, and now I'm not really present. I'm like, trying to, how do I bring up the XP of this guy? And he's like, this dude's weird. I was like, dude, just go, what are you doing today? Nothing, what are you doing? Nothing. You know, meet him. I'm doing like, great. Right. Go meet too. It's mirroring and matching, right? He's got low energy, you be low. He's high, high. Be careful. Huh, no, no, that's the greatest. Oh, you know? It's like an open house. Someone comes in. They come right to you. You address them. They, they, they come in, and they're kind of this. I, I always, I'll start talking to them, and I'll back up and kind of lean on it every time. Because I'll lean on a shelf. 10,000 hours of mastery. I've done more open house than anyone in this room. I've done, I did something I don't have to do them anymore, you know? And so... Very important things you will learn. Carve out the time uh, over here. Um, there's a thing called 21040. My team leaders at Kelly will uh, prospect two people a day, um, five days a week. That's 10, average month, four weeks, 40. You'll talk to 40 people a month. If you do that each month this year, you'll have a huge rev share business. 40 months, 21040, two a day. Um, I don't have time. Bull, you're afraid to risk your ego. I don't know anyone. You're not following the instructions. If I want to make chocolate chip cookies, I don't have eggs. I'm going to the store to get some eggs. I'm going to get the flour. I'm going to get the butter. I'm going to get all the ingredients. We're telling you the list of names, the well chart, the dream work is necessary ingredients. And then, by the way, I would get away from my desk. And James, when it came time to make those calls, for me, I did it Friday from 2 to 5. Where would you put me? Basically, <laughs> I was James's mushroom. You just put them under a dark thing and let it grow. You know, keep them in the dark. And I just sat there because my desk had people I was supposed to call about doing open houses or presenting an offer, or request for repairs, or the appraisal that wasn't appraising, or the roofer, or the plumber. And it was very distracting to me. So I got up, oh, it's 2 o'clock Friday. And I came over here, and then I found a room that wasn't very interesting, dropped my stuff. I can't, I gotta call people. You know? And I wasn't looking out at people because I get distracted. I literally was in a room about this interesting over here, and I had three hours. Yeah, I called three to five people every Friday, sometimes seven. During the week, of course, I prospected people. Um, I was purposeful and intentional on Fridays. Maybe for you it's Wednesday. Maybe for you it's Sunday evenings from five to eight. But it's 24 hours a day if you do this, or you just do it on the next day, two ten forty. One, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. You have time. You may think, I don't have time. You, you have time. Two, ten a week, 40 a month. You will have a huge business. When you, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, blah, 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 carve out time. Get organized. You want to see what it looks like to be organized? This is me organized right there, baby. Yellow notepad. Are you with me, my man? That's it. This is like the Mona Lisa. This is James. This is me, James, James, me, me, James. Now I like the Excel spreadsheet. I couldn't make one. I uh, saved my life. I like what it does. But this is what worked for me. It got so wrinkled I had to put together because it all started curling up. But I started doing the people I was sponsoring, people that are sponsoring, blah, 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 40. I could be a stoplight. Like saying, oh my gosh, I got to call Luann. Oh, I got to call Karen. I didn't call Steve. I didn't call Ty. Oh my gosh, Casey's my friend. Oh, Casey's my friend. I didn't tell him there's a meeting in Gilbert. It's at the wedding chapel center thing that the Curtis guy. Oh, I need to call Debbie. Oh, wait, who's Jim? Oh, Jim's that cool new guy. I need to call Debbie. Tell her to call Jim. I actually put some, a few people on here. And this is the very, very beginning. And does anyone know what the whiteout is? Not everybody I talked to worked out either. 
There's some layout on there. And I'd replace them with other reasons. And I got to 40, and it was done. What I think I did one time three years ago. Oh, you're still doing it now. Oh my gosh. James, how cool is our life now? <laughs> he bought this beautiful home on a core. It's gorgeous. And I went over to see him on shows me. He goes, hey man, that big old two story next door. I just walked in his house. <laughs> for 20 years. We raised our kids together. I just walked in, hey. Oh, anybody here? Sometimes they're just not there, right? Just stay and watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> I go in the fridge. I get grapes. Is the cherries? Those ice cold cherries that are sweet. The grapes. I know. I know the is yogurt. I know everything. I know all the food is. I know where the cherries are. And, and I'm, I'm sitting there. It's true. I tried to get enough to put up the fence between the two homes. We just walk over, right? That didn't go over. There's a fence. But when we built, designed our backyards with pools and waterfalls and palm trees and made this freaking desert oasis, it was so much fun. I, we had two giant rocks left over from the waterfall, and I had the plants we were dragging over to the fence. And then one of them was like, this is like a platform rock. It's like two feet tall. And I call it, I bring everybody, if you come to my house, you would come over, I go, this is Stroop Rock. James's last name is Stroop. Why do you call it Stroop Rock? I go, stand on it, yep, now look in Stroop's backyard. Yeah, I go, I can see everything. It's awesome. They have no privacy. I'm like, hey, hey, morning, James. Yeah, I'm the neighbor from hell. Okay? I, I love being James's neighbor. We, we get to talk every morning, anyhow. It is the most fun in the world. So, but that's what I did. Now, here's James. He, he, he thinks linear, he's brilliant. So, here I am. Let like two and a half months, I signed up 20. I think of, uh, of, of uh, January to 25. But they told people, we told people, led to 148. That was in three and a half months, I had 148. A year later, 1100. January 31st, 2017. January 31st, 2018. Up for 148, became 1100. 256 became 1600. 531 became 3000. And now we're, we're in the year 70,000 agents, but it just boom, and then they're just boom, 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 40, and they kept going. We're in the 70s now. So it's pretty cool. Um, next, scripts. What do you say? I'm always asking people, hey, do you have a minute to watch a short, brilliant webinar? I want your opinion. What, what are the three words you see up there? Short, brilliant, opinion. Do you have a couple minutes? Of, Chris, I want to say something short, it's brilliant. I want your opinion. It's a new model. And why well, I've already seen it. I go, when did you last see it? Like three years ago. Did you have a change in three years? Oh, no, no, no. I saw it six months ago. Did you have a change in six months? You know, it doesn't matter what they say. I want to see the webinar. Which one did you see? I don't know. God, there were so many goofy webinars. The company shut them all down. No, of course you're not interested. You saw a goofy one. <laughs> you know? Let me show you what's really going on with this company. And oh, okay, fine, show it to me. And then they're like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. Nolly Williams, big star for Keller Williams, was told this was terrible until he finally was challenged by a friend, Kevin, to actually, would you look at it? You don't have to do it. Would you look at it? So he did, and what did Nolly think? He kind of likes it. How many people is he sponsored now? 45. Days. 45 in like, what? 10 months. 10 days. months. So, there you go. Don Yoakum, who owned 33 Keller Williams, said no. He's got 35 sponsors. He's got a huge group. So, it takes a little time. The key to sales, Zig Ziglar would say this is the word enthusiasm, and specifically the last four words, which stands for I, we never started a timer, Curtis. Where's Curtis? This thing has a timer on it, it never started. How funny is that? It still says 120. Okay. It's too late now. Yeah. You just have to give me hand signals. Yeah, half hours. All right. He was going to vibrate, keep me on track. I was like, okay. Um, <laughs> So I am sold myself the last four letters. That's the key to sales. If you believe in something, like anybody heard of Napa, California? Well, there's this town just past it called Yonkville. And there's Napa, which once you've been to Yonkville, Napa's like a holiday inn. Everyone's like, Napa this, no, Yonkville, even the name. Boutique restaurants, the best wines. It's like the, the A-listers go to Yonville. The Napa's old school, Yonville. And there's a restaurant there called the R.H. Who's heard sort of R.H.? You heard of Restoration Hardware? Well, they created an art gallery a restaurant. They took a, a, um, a olive orchard, and then they trimmed them up, and then they hang chandeliers from all the branches, put crushed granite, put tables all throughout, and then built a glass atrium over the top, and they served the best food. It's the most incredible environment I've ever seen in my life. If you ever go to Napa, skip Napa, go to Yonville, it's another 10 minute drive, and go to RH and have a meal in there. You're like, this is so weird. I'm in an olive orchard, but it's super clean and nice, 
and the chandeliers hanging from them. It doesn't look weird, and it's the most the music and the waterfalls. It's amazing. And you're, you, does that sound okay? <laughs> okay, that's the key to sales right there. I just gave you the key to make it a DSP. See, I'm sold myself, and I was able to sell you. Oh my gosh, Cabo. Oh man, see. It, 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 when you get excited, people respond to that. If you're not having success with DHP, it's because you are not excited yourself. You're just, yeah, you want to see EXP and da, da, da. Raise your face just like this because you're scared to death. It's good. I'd rather you did this or nothing. But you're not looking at your dream and vision board when you're making those calls. You're thinking about fear. When you, when you get back here and you're looking at this little baby, come on, baby, don't hold me up. I need to be up. This way, yep. When you make your calls, hit stare at this, whatever your things are. It'll help you when you see your kids, when you see your husband or your wife, when you see the cabin at Lake Tahoe you want to have, or the trips and the different things you want to do. It will inspire you to do this. So, uh, moving on. Uh, enthusiasm is key. The golden rule do the right thing. If somebody is here today and they're not here with you, please do not try to sponsor them. That is the wrong thing to do. It's, you know, it's, it's in their best decision. I don't believe that. I believe if they came here, this is a, you know, go support them. You know, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if you want to bring a guest here, not have somebody else in the response. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so I call it the golden rule, do the right thing. Highly, highly make it help them. But go, there's plenty of other, not one person, it's 40, not one, you with me? So very important, ask questions. The woman in Canton, Ohio, I never met her. You talk to anybody? No. You haven't talked to anyone? No. If she said yes, I go, when? Four months ago. It's still, I can talk to her. Now if they said, yeah, two weeks ago I had lunch with Curtis, and then I, last week I talked to Kevin and Fred. I'm going, man, Curtis is amazing. Kevin and Fred is, even if I didn't know him, I go, man, how can I help you? Look at it. Obviously you're going to be in their group. Oh, no, I haven't made my decision yet. It's my decision. Um, yeah, I get that, but there's, you know, there's no way I could be your sponsor. Because I have personal integrity. I, I'm, I don't play this game. It's what's best for you. That's, this, that's my personal thing. If they're talking to somebody here, I'm out. They can, you can go to my website, contact me, and uh, I'm, I've turned down 28 people. So I can sleep at night. So do the right thing. Enthusiasm. Ask questions. Find out if they're talking to people. They're engaged with people. They're doing it. They will tell you, well, I haven't made it my mind. I haven't made any commitments to anyone. I had this couple of banker women say, I don't even like the woman who turned this. I go, the only reason you know about this is that woman that you don't like. And she's a great person. The fact that you guys clash a little bit. She says, look, let me be clear with you. I'm not coming to EXP unless you sponsor me. And I said, have a great life at Cobo Banker. Well, don't you care about her? Nope. <laughs> just kidding. Um, not really, though. I care. How about if I was talking to somebody for you, and they said, well, Brent, you're a big deal. You've got your systems down. You're dialed in. Uh, it's my right to choose. I choose you. Right? Well, I, I, I get to say yes or no. I'm, I'm flattered. I'm honored. But I, there's no way I can do that. I'm not going to do that. How would you feel if I sponsored that person? Would I lose trust with you? That makes sense? So a little bit on the golden rule. That's all I get to say. Will everybody follow this? Is everybody a Boy Scout, Girl Scout? Nope. Are people going to do the wrong thing? Not follow the golden rule? Oh, absolutely. I'm not naive. But it doesn't mean I'm going to behave that way. Does that make sense to everyone? And this is the exception, not the rule. Some people say, no, it's a rule. It's a rule. I can't do it. It's being fine. Just give away the whole opportunity because you think this is what it's about. It's not. Um, sponsor, the, the most important thing you can do to really get cranked is sponsor your first five. It's the hardest thing you'll ever do is sponsoring your first five. Your first five listings are the hardest listings to get. Do you agree? As a brand new agent, your first five sales are the hardest five sales you'll ever make. Go sign up five, and then do it again, and again, and again, and again. How else are you get to 40? Nancy Farmer, her first month, she's going to have 12. What she do? What's the key? I'm gonna give you the key. We get in the whole event right now. Show the webinar. Get him on the phone. Show the webinar. Get him on the phone. Show the webinar. Get him on the phone. Next week? No, like now. Like in five minutes. You watch the webinar. Get him on the phone. You gotta meet my coach, my mentor. Well, yeah, right. That was you. I'll help you. There's people in this room that'll help you again. Well, my sponsor's not very helpful. Someone told me that. Well, who's your sponsor? Sponsor? And he's a cool dude. He's in this room. And he goes, I don't know. I said, your homework assignment is to meet your sponsor sponsor, and your sponsor sponsor, your sponsor sponsor, that, that organization, I know I'm talking that way, but find out, get everybody's phone number, because they're gonna, they'll benefit from you, they'll help you. And even if, say you're here and you're in Brian Colgan's organization, and there are people here in Brian Colgan's organization, which means you're not mine, I will help you. Does everybody play that way? No, but I do, 
right? One dream, one dream. I believe 95% of the agents out there play that way, but 5% who won't, that's okay. But are you guys with me? Yeah. But you can do this. You See, listen to me. I'm not gonna sit here and let you argue for your limitations. I'm not gonna back you up as you tell me why you can't do this. I'm absolutely not gonna support you is when you tell me that, well, I can't do this because I don't know anybody. I have never sold a home. Sheila Bergeron called me from Plano, my sponsor. I had no idea if she was a brand new agent. I had sold a hundred homes or a thousand homes. I knew nothing about her. She was a professional, asked me to give her opinion. Sure, I watched two and a half weeks later. And she has $118 million worth of real estate flowing through her through California. Today it's in the billions. I don't even know what it is. It's insane. So it's pretty cool. Um, we're going to do QA in just a minute. So I get any questions. Um, sponsoring, 50% is follow up. Show them the webinar, get them on the phone. If you will remember this, so again, sh show them the webinar, get them on the phone. Show them the webinar. You gotta meet my coach, my mentor. I like the verbiage coach mentor. Nancy's killing it. Oh, by the way, she'll do, I told you, she'll do 12 this month. By the end of the year, though, that'll be 24 and 36 a month, right? Remember that, Curtis? A year later, you guys are seeing it too. How many do you have now? 615. Six over 600. Wow. So that is key. But then follow up. Here's the write this down. The magic move. What's the magic move? Book a meeting from a meeting. Never get on a phone call when you're not going to book the next meeting. Never get on a call. Well, who am I going to get on a phone? Well, think about it. If you don't know, call me. Call Curtis. Call Kevin. Call uh, Tony Hughes. Call Jeff. Call people and ask, what's, what should I do next? You say to talk to, well, let's get them on the phone with this person or that person. That makes sense. And then you say, hey, let's circle back this Saturday, 10 or 11 in the morning. So I'm good. I want you to meet this person. And you keep getting them on the phone with people until they sign up and do it quickly. Okay? Um, let me see. Ba, 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 ba. Do not mass email or cold call. You'll be kicked out of this company. It's against our bylaws. Mass email and cold calling. Nobody likes it. Please do not mass email or cold call. Do meet people. Do have fun. Collect their information. Prospect them later. Get the pressure off you. You're not normal, right? Um, attend and support weekly lunch and learns, or at least every other week. You can press play. Well, we don't have you here to do it for me, Brett. Or I mean, Curtis's group, I came here from Tucson, and he's not in Tucson every week. Press play. James, when we started in Sacramento, California, who flew out to see us? Um, nobody, right? When did Sheila come to see us? How long did we wait? When, how long did Rob to see us? Maybe 10 months? We had nobody. Nobody came. So we press play. We go to the model explain, press play. We also start to stand up, runs over, we discuss it. And remember how many we had at the end of three and a half months? Was it like 146 agents? It totally worked. So you can do one. The key to ESP is not the lunch and learns. The lunch and learns, or it could be a breakfast and learn at 10 a.m. It could be um, wine and learn. You could have uh, five o'clock on a Friday afternoon, have some wine, a couple bottles of wine, red, whatever, um, hot tea for people if they don't drink. Uh, some snacks, grapes, some, um, that kind of stuff. But um, it, the turnouts are incredible. But those are not the keys, those are follow-ups. The key is have people on the webinar, get them on the phone. Have people on the webinar, get them on the phone. If you will start doing this, you will start succeeding. Here's why agents fail ASP. They have much watch the webinar, they talk, talk, talk. Have much webinar, talk, talk, talk. Have much webinar, talk, talk, talk. Stop talking with people and get them on the phone with people that will help you. Well, my sponsor will help you. I just said I would help you. We can't help all of us. True, but you know how many few people call me? Like, very few people. They're like, well, you're so busy. Rob Flick's so busy. Gene's so busy. Sheila's so busy. Curtis is so busy. He's got, how many do you have, Tom? Uh, 17.93. Are, are you, are you, could you help somebody? Yeah, love to. Yeah? You guys have 600. Do you ever have time for a five minute call here or there? A couple times a day. Yeah, absolutely. People will help people, man. So, um, Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. On the home stretch, we talked about vocabulary. Coach mentor is a, a much better word. Uh, utilize your upper line with seven levels. I always give people, give, give people homework. Hey, here's the deal. As a Keller Williams agent, I showed the webinar eight times. Not as an EHP agent, as Keller Williams. I know you're not sure. I wasn't sure either. I showed it to Curtis. He said no. I showed it to Jeff Williams in Tucson. He said yes. So it was a Remax franchise. I showed it to um, to a guy in Virgil and Reno, he said yes. I showed it to Sean Work, he said no. I showed it to Don Yoakum, he said no. I showed it to uh, Cliff Freeman in Dallas, he said yes. And so I started showing it to people, and then I, I gave them, uh, so 
I did a beta test, an accidental beta test, showed it to eight people. I eventually signed up all eight, six immediately and two down the road. Curtis was number seven, then Sean worked as that killed it, was number eight. It took me three years, but I kept steady. So, um, be a room lifter and be a life enhancer versus a well poisoner. What's that mean? You ever met somebody who's a well poisoner? You ever had a job where you're like, oh, so and so's here? You know? And then I remember one time I had this job when I was very young, like early 20s, and they're like, so and so's sick today. I'm like, she's sick. <laughs> 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 Woo! Party! So and so sick. And it was Kate. Kate was just this ominous dark cloud. I remember going, oh, wow, don't ever be that person. So what's a life enhancer? You, you come in a room, you light up, you sit in the room, you nod, you smile. You don't realize, I'm, I'm looking at everyone. He's not looking at me. There's too many people in the room. No, I'm looking at you. I've been walking out, looking at each one of you in the eyes. I'm looking at you. 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 And so I mean, when the speakers, when we feed as speakers, we feed off the energy. If you're engaged and not in paying attention and taking notes and smiling, some of you are so serious, you look like you want to kill me. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I, I mean, when I smile at things, yeah, when Kurt said something, I'm like, yeah, in the back, I screamed out. And um, we do want you to sell more real estate, but you got to have boundaries. You cannot work. Real estate will consume seven days a week, 24 hours a week. Do you agree? Yeah. Man, the first thing you do is you put in time with your spouse. You marry your spouse, not your kids. Put in time with your kids. You don't marry your kids. You marry your spouse. You need to fall back in love with your spouse. You need, my wife and I go out twice a week, every week. We go on dates. See ya. Our kids are older now. Where are you going? Doesn't matter. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Food's in the fridge. We go on vacations with them internationally. What are we going to eat? Figure it out. There's Meals on Wheels. There's DoorDash. Figure it out. You got a debit card, you know? Well, we got 200 bucks in my account. Spend it wisely. <laughs> It's fine. Anyway, <laughs> boundaries. And, and you think, well, I was using now. I didn't stop selling real estate until my rev share hit 100000 a month. I found myself driving to a listing, $800,000 listing. I always get 3.5%. Listing at 6, put out 2.5. Is 2.5 the commission you hear or 3% in Phoenix? Yes. In Sacramento, they're only 2.5, which is great. I'm a proponent of lower commissions from my safety and safety. Because <laughs> I list them at six, give out the two and a half, nobody thinks twice, I get three and a half on everything I sell. Become a listing agent, it's the greatest thing in the world. So three and a half percent of $800,000, 24, half a percent there, um, for 20, um, $28,000, thank you, $28,000. And I'm driving there, how many of you excited about a $28,000 commission, anybody? Come on. So I'm driving there going, what a waste of my time. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. If you're making a hundred thousand a month in rev share, would you think a little differently? And it was ten, then it was twenty, then it was forty, then it was eighty, now it's over a hundred. And I'm doing this part time. I have eighteen listings. I spend all my time doing real estate. Eighty percent of my time doing real estate. Oh, then it was sixty percent of my time. Forty percent doing this rev share thing, just spinning in cracks and times. And you know what? No, I go. I think I'm done. Remember that, James? <laughs> this Loomis, California horse properties. Five acre property, 800,000. And I stepped back and I just stopped taking new listings. People, hey, Brent, call me. Hey, I'm going to be out of town. Call my friend Curtis. Call friend Kevin. Call, call Ben in the back there. He'll help you. My team loved it. All the good ones I used to keep, here's the 800,000 dollar listing. How many of you like that? Was it good for my team? I don't have a single call to return. I don't have, if you know me, my voicemail says, do not leave a message. <laughs> Text me. That's what it says. And some of you call me messages. I don't listen to them. I delete them. I mean, I don't listen to them. It says don't leave a message. Text me. So the only thing I ever have to do is return text. It's great. I do it on my 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 time. And so, um, well, we're gonna skip this part because it is a little confusing and I'm out of time. Uh, so we'll skip that. Okay. <clears throat> So here's what you need to do. If you go to brentgoresources.com, it says the Rob Flick 90 minute training video. It's under agent attraction. So you go to brentgoresources.com, you click on agent attraction, and you watch the 90 minute Rob Flick training video. It is phenomenal. There's also one right by it by Jay Kinder. Phenomenal. They're both lightning in a bottle. Raise your hand if you've watched Jay Kinder's training video or Rob Flick's, raise your hand. 
Okay, the rest of you have a homework assignment. This is that on your phone, on your notepad. Watch um, Jay Kinder or Rob. They're both like A plus plus home runs over the top. It'll really help you do this. And watch them and watch them and watch them. Where's Frank? You in here? He said he watched every video, he studied everything, and he knows what he's doing. If you want to pass the bar to work your butt off the rest of your life, and be the short term pain, long term pain. I did this three years ago. You see, you don't do it every year. I did it two years ago. Now I just help it grow, and it's pretty cool. So, invite your group over to your office or your home, have a movie night, get some popcorn, you know, make it fun. And we would do this every Friday night for, for, for a long time. My kids would go to youth at, at, at my church, and I would meet my agents on Friday nights and do this. My wife and I go out Saturday nights. But on Friday nights, I'd be, I'd get groups of five, eight, 10, 15, 20 ages. I'd be watching, watching this at 45 minute point. We take intermission, use the restroom. Hey, where are the ahas so far? Boom, 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 boom. Turn it back up, watch the last 45, do ahas, and get out of there. It was a couple hours on the Friday night, a lot of fun. Um, this, we did this, and we boomed, man. Um, by the way, my secret sauce is getting prospects to watch it two or three times in 24 hours. I go, here's your homework assignment. Go home and show this to you. Are you married? <coughs> Go home and show this to your wife. She needs to see, she needs to talk about this because I want to see it a second time. And, and, and I do want his wife to see it, but I want him to see it because how many of you just figured it out the first time you saw it, right? I know that I kind of did, but the second time I said it, oh, I missed that, missed that. Oh, that became clear. The third time I saw it, and, I, and then I said, okay, show us your wife. And you have a best buddy in real estate, like someone who got you in real estate, some, like if there was anybody, if you were in a GM and they had to show property for you, who comes to mind? First name, first name only. Rob. Rob. Uh, tomorrow morning, call Rob tonight. Say, Rob, we got to meet. This is an absolute 911 emergency. He's your best friend. Like, if I'm in an emergency, I don't knock on his door. A, I don't knock on his door, period. <laughs> but B, I'm running in his front door. Fire! It's an emergency. I don't have permission. He's my best friend. For 20 years, I've days, I don't have to ask permission. So, show this to your wife tonight and show this to Rob tomorrow morning. Early, 6.30, 7 o'clock, all Rob's full attention. And you do this and watch what happens. Rob is going to want to do this. So I get them to do a beta test. I did it eight times. They all signed up. I wish I did it 18 times. So get your Berkshire Hathaway agents, your Realty One agents, your Keller Williams agents, your Coldwell Banker agents. Do the beta tests. So I show it to the five of you. You all tell me it's not stupid. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for giving me your opinion. I'm saving Coldwell Banker. Uh, what I said to those eight people is I'm thinking about leaving Keller Williams. I can't believe this. You know I'm passionate. I love it. I can't. Don't say me for doing something stupid. Well, what all about it? Really? What do you know? Well, not much, but bad. <laughs> okay. Well, I actually watched the webinar. I'm actually thinking about leaving next week. It's not bad at all. It was incredible. I'll be straight up with you. I'm totally pumped about this. But I want to know what I'm missing. Would you watch it? Show me what I'm missing. Like, is there? Where's the flying right there? Like, what is it I'm not getting? Because I actually have done a deeper dive. I understand it's it's totally incredible. I won't give you. In fact, if you don't stop me, I'm leaving. And I don't want to make a big mistake. Will you save me? Do people want to save people? Now these weren't five strangers. You're my five closest friends in real estate. I didn't call eight strangers. I called people that cared about me and I cared about them. I went through a really hard time in my marriage in 2010, and Curtis and I prayed together, and I didn't have to pray with too many people in a big real estate thing. He goes, come here, come here. I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna pray about this. And you ever, those, those kind of people, right? Not like, ah, oh, heck, there's more fish in the sea. Not that kind of friend, okay? <laughs> Not that kind of friend. And she's all nervous laugh there. Now, um, so do that. Save energy for where you really want to go, but stuff happens and stuff will happen. Crazy things will happen. Somebody gets so worked up, let it go, move on. I want them just far from me to be the sponsor of my person. Move on. You just, all that energy, you're trying to get them fired from me, just go sponsor somebody new. Uh, you know, let it go. Um, I, had a, I had a woman call me. She, she had a client that kept her up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Client's going to sue her, going to do this, that. She had done it. A couple of jobs for the client. She made mistakes. And at three o'clock in the morning, she's laying in bed, cannot sleep. She's freaking out. So I said, Cindy, she's my star agent on the bread coaching. I said, Cindy, let me help you. You're just replaying, replaying, replaying with her, how upset she is. Yeah, I go, think about other things. Think about your children. Think about London. You know, think about little Casey. 
Think about your husband. Think about the things that are good in your life. Stop thinking this. You can't change their crazy. Anybody can change a crazy person. <laughs> right? So I want you to think about anything good. Just think and think and force yourself. And she goes, I go do this tonight when you wake up. Because she lost it. She was three nights sleep. And so she goes, oh my gosh. I fell right back to sleep and slept like a baby. Because you started thinking about what was good and being grateful in your heart. Does that make sense? So this is a really important thing to do. The beta test, massive action creates results. That's right out of Tony Robbins. Um, every Monday I do a training from 11.30 to noon uh, Pacific. It's called the North American Leadership Series. It's in the Red Hall of the world. You're all invited to come. I interview a star around the country every single Monday. Again, 11.30 Pacific. Uh, you would like that. Attend that. Um, Ezra, we're about done. Mexico, Freedom 2020, that's February 4th to the 5th. It's sold out, but you should go. Well, you said it was sold out. Find a way to get there. Okay? Go. 900 of us are flying in. This is the who's who of ESP. Um, and you need to be there. Tony, you going? Of course. You know why I said he'd say yes? Because even if he wasn't, he changed his mind when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> he's a leader. I'm not surprised at all that he's going. Right? So you want to be at this event. This event has changed more lives. Um, I can tell you, people say, oh my gosh, we, we meet every morning, play all day, play all night. Meet every morning, next morning, play all day, play all night. Meet in the morning, play all day, play all night. The people, it's who you meet at the bowl. It's who you had breakfast with. It's who you had dinner with that evening. You're sitting at the beach for four hours till you find out the person next to you is 3,000 people in the group. You're like, oh my gosh. I made a really good friend at the beach. We sat together for hours. I had no idea she sponsored 40 people. And she's got 3,000 people in the group. And she's from Kansas. And she's like me. And I'm like me. We're like buddies. And that stuff creates belief. And so very important. There's the shareholders in, in April. You should definitely be there in Florida. Go. I mean, we're talking about, this is all about making 100 to a million plus a year. And yes, you should go to these events. You really should. Um, May 14th, 15th, and 16th here in Scottsdale at the JW Merritt. You have to sponsor a minimum of 15 people to come, but we're going to do a mastermind right here in, in, uh, in May with uh, Scott Lewis and Bob Flick and, and um, Jay Kinder, Aldi, Michael Weiss, everybody, Curtis, but you have to sponsor 15 to come. You can all get that done and come. This will be hundreds and hundreds of superstars. It's a very powerful mastermind. In August at the De in Dallas, just look at the Red Rock last year. Anybody go to that? Raise your hand. Anybody go to the Red Rock? So we're, re we're redoing that event, but it'll be in Dallas. It's going to be at the Gaylord Resort. I think it's like Disneyland. It is incredible. Uh, everybody's invited. You're up to sponsor 15. Everyone can come to this. These are the dates. And then um, uh, so just some dates you want to be aware of. We did a local creative calendar for Sacramento. We do, like, when are we doing Top Golf? When are we doing Lead Generation? We just created it. When are we going to have another social at the yard house? And we came up with something every month a training is social, a training is social. A tra you create community, you create things to do together. This is an event that creates creative for you guys. Had he not called him, this event would happen today. He changed all of your lives. He took the day off, he would have been doing other things. Good or bad, it was a simple phone call he made to get that done. Um, so, Go to Tony Robbins, go to John Maxwell, Grant Cardone. I will be at uh, Tony Robbins in December, Grant, Grant Cardone in February, and Tony Robbins in Fiji at the end of March. Well, it's easy for you to have money, blah, blah, blah. I did this stuff when I was 19. I've been, I've been doing it for people all the way. You did so well in three years. No, I've been working this stuff for 34 years, right? This didn't happen overnight. I'm working on I me. Mean, listen to me. If you work on you, the rest comes together. Work on you, personal development, right? And so do these things. Um, Excuses, rationalizes, rationalizations, and limitations, everybody's got them. If you argue for your limitations, you get to keep them. It's the most crazy thing in the world. Or excuses are like armpits. Everybody has a couple and they stink, right? <laughs> so the question is, are you going to list in, are you going to list 40 homes this year? Because most agents in America, that's all they're trying to do. And Curtis did a great job. Kept showing me the hamster wheel. Are you going to go list 40 agents? I realize it took me years to learn how to list homes. And it may take you a few years so that I do this, but once you do it, oh, baby. Because you're, you're not thinking about Brazil and Argentina and Chile and Colombia and the Philippines. You're not thinking about uh, Korea, South Korea, and Japan and China, but I'm thinking about it. And some of you are thinking, but as you tell these people, they have family and friends all over the world. Italy, France, uh, Spain. There's real estate agents in Spain. You'll see Remaxes and Cobble Bakers in Spain, but they have to put out 100 grand, uh, sign huge commercial leases, do the TIs. It's massive capital. And we just call our friend in Spain and we're open. They start telling their friends, he goes, 
cost payment. So this is a one-time deal. It's a short-term pay, long-term gain. It's a one-time thing. Um, so a secret weapon, pray, meditate. Um, you know, some people that think they're lucky stars, I think the one who made the stars. That's what I do. Okay, so um, up to you. Uh, do something that scares you every day. And kind of as I wrap it up today, stormy weather, man. Um, the, 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 remember last year the polar vortex, the polar vortex, over the polar vortex? Well, there's one coming for you. The second you set a goal to do something different in your life, your car will hear about it and break down. <laughs> You're getting a fight with your spouse. You know, someone, a client will say they're gonna sue. I mean, just stuff happens once you decide to move out. All of a sudden, there'll be resistance. And um, if you've ever seen sailboats, I was just sailing in Cabo on a dinner cruise, most beautiful purple, yellow, orange, green sky was off the lands. It was incredible. And guess what? It, the, the, the captain just looked at the wind doesn't pick up, we'll just have to motor around, lands in, and a sailboat. And you just, yeah, that's cool. But if the wind picks up, we're gonna sail. And I can't tell you what it's like when they cut the engines and those sails go up and you just go wide. It's the most incredible, exhilarating, amazing experience. And see the storms, all the wind, when, when you get resistance, use it to fill your sails. So it's a great saying, it's not the force of the gale, but the set of your sail that determines your direction in life. When it's, remember the movie Adrift or whatever? When it's not blowing, you're just laying there. What you think is bad is good. The trauma you're going through is what it's going to take to get you to move on, right? Sometimes God uses, shuts doors so you'll walk through a new one. He'll create enough pain so you'll find a new one takes. You know what happens before breakthroughs? All hell. <laughs> you, you, have, you have to get sick and tired, get sick and tired, you have to be frustrated, and, and frustration, you frustrated here? Good. Yeah. Good. Because all of a sudden, when you finally have, you'll finally do something about it. I hope you're frustrated. I hope you're irritated. I hope you're like, you know what? And what everyone's talked to in Phoenix, so what? People talked to me for nine years, I went to Keller Williams. It's going to hit, and everybody's going to come. And so be a part of it. Where are you going? There's our founder, Glenn Sanford. There it was on the NASDAQ. Pretty cool. So we did some stuff in full car that we're in Puerto Vallarta. There it is. We just came out with these graphics. Here's another one. Shareholders, August 2022 in Orlando. There's that one. Here's Scottsdale, our high-level mastermind guest sponsor. 15th, there's the JW Marriott, one of my favorite resorts. Um, this is the uh, Gaylord Texas Resort Convention Center. It's got a glass dome over the whole thing. It's like the most. Go home and Google the Gaylord uh, Resort in Dallas, Texas. It's centrally located. Save the dates. Save the dates. Save those dates. And then finally, EXP's annual convention is normally in October. First time ever, it's in November. <laughs> um, all right, so.